Ellen? Thanks, Bill. This week, you'll be able to see a new and unique collection of photographs taken for a cause close to our hearts here at ABC Action News. You may remember last weekend our participation in live coverage of the first race for the cure in Polk County, where our own recent survivor, Linda Hurtado, served as an honorary MC. Well, today we're learning about a different group of cancer survivors who are also doing something to raise money and awareness. Peggy Sherry, who is a two-time breast cancer survivor, is here to mm -hmm. talk about her organization and what she's doing. So tell me about the organization that you helped found. Eight years ago, we founded Faces of Courage, and we provide free um, day outings, evening events, and weekend camps for women and children with all cancers. Why did you feel like this was missing in, in our community and really across the state? I think that uh, the opportunity to get out in a traditional camping environment is um, unobtainable for children that have cancer or women who have cancer because they need to be medically supervised mm -hmm. and we provide those services. And so you all created a calendar, I understand, that okay. will help your organization. Tell me a little bit about the calendar and, and what all it's about. About a year and a half ago, I met um, the artist Lisa Shoulder at an art exhibit, and she um, approached me with the idea of body painting breast cancer survivors. And we, we thought we'd give it a, a go. I wasn't quite sure. It was a, a new and un, unusual um, achievement, but we, we went through, and it took us a year to do it. And people can buy those, right? And where yes, can they, they buy can. them? Yes, they can. They can go to bodiesofcourage.org and buy it directly there or come out to Moffitt on Tuesday, September 24th, between 6 and 8 p.m. at the new International Moffitt and see the exhibit and meet the artist and meet the models. And so Moffitt obviously feels strongly about your organization because they're kind of partnering with you on this or, or tying their name anyway to, to what you do. Yes, they are. It's, uh, you know what? Moffitt has just got such great cutting edge treatments for people today that we are seeing long long term survivors and many many more survivors and when they fix their body what we try to do is kind of fix their mind by taking and and helping them work through the cancer um, process the last question I had before you go is how did you find out that you had breast cancer it's it's in my family it's in almost I think everyone's family now and it's so important to get the word out about how uh, things are detected so what happened with it you? wasn't in my family and um, I had been running cancer camps for six years when I was diagnosed and it was a camper who kept saying when was the last time you had a mammogram and I kept saying I'll get to it you know I'm I, I just don't have time and she finally said I'll call and make an appointment if you won't go. Oh my goodness. And I went and I already had cancer and then six months later I was diagnosed again yeah. with two different types of breast cancer. So mammogram saved your life. It did. Right. Peggy, thank you so much for coming in today, talking about the calendar and your organization. And we hope that folks will go uh, to the website as well and also, of course, make that phone call. And also stop by the Moffitt Cancer Center on Tuesday at 6 p.m. Thanks so much for coming in. John, back to you. Okay, so today is the playoffs. Uh, two weeks, this is the Super Bowl. What does that mean? It means John's going to have more wings in just a second.